They are coming. Hello, everyone. Uh, welcome back to the channel. Uh, this is uh, something I've seen a few times on YouTube. The last time I saw it was Dasha from Mythic Pages. Uh, she did a video which was 22 books for 2022. I thought it was a really good video, a really good idea. So I thought I'd give it a go. 22 books for 2022. So some of this is like a book haul because some of these are new books I got for Christmas and that kind of thing. But some of them aren't. So this is just 22 books I am definitely, definitely going to read in 2022. So. Ah, uh, West and we waxation at West. Uh, quite a variety of stuff here. Um, I've got tons of Ursula Le Guin I haven't read yet. So this is probably the first one I'm going to go into uh, out of the ones I haven't read. I've read six of her books so far, but I want to keep reading um, the ones I've got. I've got another four or five. So Always Coming Home um, is the next one on my Le Guin exploration. I think she's awesome. Um, this is a sequel to uh, We'll Save... Yeah, We'll Save the Galaxy for Food. Um, which is one of my favourite books. Uh, so I'm really looking forward to reading this, and I'm shocked I haven't read it yet, because I've had a few months now. But uh, I can't wait to read it. It's probably very funny. So, yeah. We'll destroy the galaxy for cash. That's the sequel title. Um, this is a funny one, because, again, I should have read this by now. I'm a huge fan of Claire North. I want to do a video about her, but I wasn't going to do it until I'd read this. But I've been putting it off a little bit, because I'm nervous, because I want to really like it. I don't know. Uh, I think the reviews are mixed. I'm not sure. There's something that's put me off. But I really want to read it because I do love what she does. And I'm very excited about it. But I need to do it. So that is going to be read soon. Notes from the Burning Age. And then I'll do an overview video on Claire North. Um, equally, been really getting into Blake Crouch. And this is one I bought uh, a few months back in Forbidden Planet. I think it was. Abandoned by Blake Crouch. So... Uh, this is a horror novel, uh, and it looks really good. And, you know, he can write so well that I'm sure if it's not amazing, it'll still be really good because of the way he writes. So, Abandon, Blake Crouch. That's also on my list for reading very soon. Um, this is more John Scalzi. So, The Android's Dream. This is a really small book. because I quite like this sort of format. Um, it's like an American... It's an American publisher... Uh, so I, got, I found this in Forbidden Planet in London um, a couple of years ago, uh, probably three or four years ago, I think, but I still haven't read it. Um, and uh, everything I've read by John Scalzi I like. So I am going to read this very soon. Finally got Brave New World. So again, I'm building up to do a dystopian video, but I didn't want to do it until I'd read Brave New World. So this is um, clearly going to be read very soon. So important book I need to read. Uh, this one had a lot of great publicity. Um, he's been raved about a lot. <laughs> he's been raved about a lot. Uh, and that's uh, Colson Whitehead and the Underground Railroad. Uh, there's a now a TV adaptation, I think, of this, but I don't want to watch that. I want to read it. And uh, it's supposed to be a really good examination of... I think slavery, but with a little bit of a twist. But I don't really want to get delve too much. I just want to read it. So that's my plan. Okay, I'm going to make my third attempt to really like Kurt Vonnegut. So play a piano. I was so pleased to find this because, again, I wanted to find this because this is a dystopian novel, and I wanted to include him if I could. If I like this, I wanted to include it in my dystopian video. And I found it. Uh, it's really hard to find on eBay, I found. But I did find it new in Waterstone, which is awesome. Play a piano. So it'll be my third book by Vonnegut. And I didn't really like the other two. Um, so uh, um, I think when I read about him and the things he said, I think he's really he was really cool. Um, but yeah, not really getting into his writing yet. But this maybe this is a turnaround. Maybe this is the turn. I don't know. But I want to read this one. Play a piano. Really pleased to find it because I want to read it. Mikhail Bulgakov, The Master and Margarita. So this is, I think, 
the devil coming to Moscow and messing things up. Um, and uh, this looks really fascinating. It's clearly a classic. It's been revered for many, many years. Um, but it does look really interesting. I uh, can't wait to read this. So this is something I've bought recently. Um, so, yeah, really pleased to find this. This is on my list for th this year. This is another one that I've had a while now. I was really pleased to buy this. I bought this in Oxford. And I haven't read it yet, so I need to read it. Um, it's one of my favourite things, as in not just the film, which is one of the greatest films of all time, but I saw it live in the London theatre as well. We have Christian Slater playing McMurphy. Uh, it was a phenomenal performance. Mackenzie Crook was in it as well. Uh, it was amazing. Um, but I really want to read the book because clearly that's where it comes from. And, uh, yeah. The second book of The Expanse. So the first book was amazing. Um, but I was reading so much at the time that I thought I'd leave it before I read the second one. But I've got... Um, I've got the third one over there as well. Um, I really want to get into these because I really love the first one and clearly everybody else does. So it's not that weird. But uh, yeah, I can't wait to get into this. Uh, equally, I did enjoy the first of the Dresden Files and I've got Full Moon to read, a werewolf book. So that's definitely on my immediate list. Another dystopian book I'm going to be reading just to see if I want to include it in my recommendations, Parable of the Sower. It will be my first Octavia Butler book, and I've got uh, two others, um, so I'm looking forward to reading them as well. But this is a priority at the minute because I want that to be the first Octavia Butler book I've read. So that's on my 2022 books. This is a horror book I'd read a lot about, and now I'm, I'm hearing more about Nick Carter in general. So this is one I'm looking forward to reading as well. Um, I've kind of made it a mission to, to get a little bit more uh, on my list of authors for horror. Uh, so this is one I'm reading to see if I like Nick Cutter. Uh, this is a funny one. I found this second hand and I just really like what it said on the back. But I think it's uh, been quite celebrated. But it's about a wealthy man who decides to just... Uh, hibernate and and create this underground place to live um and i think it's got some social commentary in it i'm not sure but it looks good so i'm going to read that if anyone's read this and want to make a comment that'd be cool but it looked curious so i do want to read this one soon as well uh this is a stephen king book that i was looking for for ages and then i found it got it very excited about reading this the other two books he's done in this series i think are amazing uh, so I'm looking forward to these to, for this. It's a short Stephen King book. It's not necessarily typical of, of the style that he writes, but I do really like the other two. So I'm looking forward to this, Colorado Kid. So that's going to be read very, very soon. I finally found Hot Toddy. This was in the loft for ages, and I couldn't find it. And now I've found it. So this is the biography of Thelma Todd. Um, I've got a massive interest in the Marx Brothers and and a, a kind of a passing interest in all of that sort of early comedy kind of stuff. And she was a really funny um, comedy actress of the time. She's in two major Marx Brothers films, you know, big roles in uh, two major, uh, Horse Feathers and Monkey Business. And uh, she had a bit of an interesting life. She got involved with the mafia and she had a, a sort of mysterious death as well. Um, so I want to read this because um, she had an interesting career. Before she did those two films, she was in a a female comedy duo, which is kind of unusual at the time as well. So, yeah, I really wanted to read this. I, I took a while to find it. When I did find it, I was so pleased to find it. And then I couldn't, I couldn't find it in the loft. Found it, so this is going to be read very soon. Interference, which is the uh, sequel, um, if that's the right word, for Sue Burke's uh, Semiosis, which was a brilliant book. So I'm looking forward to this as well. We've got quite an unusual sort of biological science fiction thing um, about sentient plants. Um, so I like the fact that it's a bit unusual and I like the way she wrote the first book, so I'm sure this is going to be really good. So, interference. So, uh, you may, if you've seen my I Am Legend video, you know how much I love Richard Matheson. Um, he is possibly my favourite author of all time and this is a great book that I discovered and I got this for Christmas. He is legend. Loads of authors paying tribute to Richard Matheson. And so it's an anthology book, 
but it's based around paying tribute to Richard Matheson. So I can't wait to read this. Um, it's also got a bit of Joe Hill, so more Joe Hill, which would be cool because I like the first book I read by him. I've got others by him as well I'm going to read. But yeah, it's really excited about this. And uh, big up for Richard Matheson. This is fascinating. So I don't want to read too much about the plot, although I do know this is about a salesman uh, who's, who work, starts working for a company and he, he's the only black guy in the company and it all go, apparently all goes a bit strange. There's a film, I can't remember the name of the film, uh, maybe I'll put it on a little comment here, um, but there's a film with a kind of similar idea that uh, apparently has, got, has been referenced in some of the write-ups about this. Um, that was an amazing film. Um, and it looks like it does sort of explore race and and what it would be like to be the only black guy in a in a company that's um, all about identity and all that kind of stuff. And yeah, it looks really good. It's apparently very funny. It's got some awesome uh, recommendations on the back. Uh, but this was a uh, uh, just a, uh, something I've got for Christmas. So this was a brilliant present. So I'm looking forward to this black buck. And then just to finish off, two more music books. So um, I've got a very deep love of Kate Bush. Uh, and this is an updated version of the Under the Ivy book, which is a brilliant book that I read yeah, many, many years ago. But this is a new version. So I'm really excited to get this. I've got this for Christmas. And uh, uh, I'm going to be reading that very soon. And then another book on XTC. So... Uh, any books on XTC I will find and read them I've got a few already and uh, this is awesome getting this got this for Christmas it's very short actually it won't take me very long um, but this is about um, the author's the author is uh, Andrew Stafford and it's about his time uh, when they were working on The Big Express it was them in the studio and the way they worked and stuff like that so that sounds really interesting especially as it was quite a crucial part of their career because they'd lost their drummer and it was the first full album they did with this sort of new approach uh, where they weren't playing live and they didn't have their main drummer. So, yeah, interesting. And it's also quite an unusual sounding album as well. The production is very abrasive, I think. Uh, but some great songs on it. But anyway, The Big Express, XTC, um, Breathing the Same Air. Can't wait to read that. So 22 books that I'll be reading in 22, 2022. And uh, I can't wait. If any of that looks interesting, then make a comment. And maybe I'll prioritise those ones if someone has made a comment saying, oh, I quite like that one. So thanks. If you are going to do that, if you're not going to do that, but you're watching and you're going to keep watching, thank you very much. Um, again, thanks for the subscribers that are coming through. Really awesome. And uh, thanks for some of the other YouTubers that are chatting uh, and uh, uh, encouraging me to do this. It's very cool. See you later. Bye.